American football has become one of the most popular sports in the world. However, it wasn't always the same sport that it is today. Over time, there have been many changes that have improved the sport, from the first paid players in small American clubs to leagues around the world. The evolution of this sport has been a fascinating and amazing journey. On November 6th, 1869, the first intercollegiate game was played between Rutgers and Princeton. It was the first game that was played with the basic rules for football. Rutgers beat Princeton in this game, six goals to four. Walter Camp was one of the most instrumental figures in the history of football. He was part of the original American Football Rules Committee and introduced many new rules to the game of football. In 1880, Walter Camp established the line of scrimmage, which is an imaginary line between the two teams separating an offense and a defense. It also marked the place of the ball before and after a play. In 1882, he established a rule that gave a team three plays to move the ball five yards for first down. To many people, Walter Camp is known as the father of football because of the rules he developed and the effort he put into American football. The first professional football player was William Heffelfinger, also known as Pudge. He became classified as a professional and he was paid $500 to play in a game for the Pittsburgh Athletic Club on November 12, 1892. Soon after the first professional player was paid, the first professional game was played. It was on September 3, 1895. The two teams that participated in this game were the Latrobe YMCA and Jeanette Athletic Club. Even though these teams played the first professional game, they weren't around for long. The oldest continuously running franchise is the Arizona Cardinals. They started in 1899 as the Morgan Athletic Club. They later became the Chicago Cardinals, then moved to St. Louis, and are currently known as the Arizona Cardinals. Safety issues were a big problem in the early years of football. In 1905 alone, 19 players lost their lives while playing in games. Many people complained about these injuries and then wanted change. Several colleges even banned the game from being played on campus. So padding and helmets were invented and many players began to wear them for safety and protection. Rules were also changed to make the game safer. As the rules evolved for safety, other changes were implemented as well. In 1906, the forward pass was made legal, and a rule was enforced stating that seven men had to be on the line of scrimmage when the ball was snapped. In 1920, the American Football Association was formed. Jim Thorpe was made the American Football Association's first president. He was made president during a meeting in 1920. No college players were allowed to play in the association. Also, for a team to join the league, there was a $100 entry fee. In 1921, the American Football Association had its first expansion for growth. Some teams joined in 1921, such as the Green Bay Packers. Then others in 1922, such as the Chicago Bears, making a total of 22 teams. Later in 1922, the American Football Association changed its name to the National Football League, or NFL. The expansion of football quickly spread beyond the professional level. Schools all over the nation started playing the game. In 1920, the National Federation of State High School Associations was formed, and it included the sport of football. By 1929, the first youth football conference was founded. It was called the Junior Football Conference. This league was renamed the Pop Warner Conference in 1933 after a man named Pop Warner, who at the time worked with many kids in the league. Football continued to change, with the first ever NFL playoff game being held in 1932. The game was played between the two teams with the best records. These two teams were the Chicago Bears and the Portsmouth Spartans. The Bears won the game 9-0 and were crowned the first ever champion. College football had its own version of the playoff. It was called bowl games. Bowl games have always been a big part of college football. The first bowl game played was the Rose Bowl, and it was played in 1902. 33 years later, the Orange Bowl, Sugar Bowl, and Sun Bowl were also introduced as new bowl games. Shortly after the Orange Bowl, Sugar Bowl, and Sun Bowl were introduced, the Cotton Bowl was also introduced. The College Football League used rankings to determine who played in these bowl games. College football has been using rankings ever since 1869, but the Associated Press took over the job in 1936, 
and has been doing it ever since. Football had grown so popular that it began to be televised. The first televised college football game was in 1939, when Fordham University played Waynesburg College. One month later, the first professional football game appeared on television between the Brooklyn Dodgers and the Philadelphia Eagles. The addition of televised football allowed both the East and West Coast to be able to watch each other's games and eventually become a financial stimulus for the sport. This footage is the oldest recorded footage of a college football game. As the NFL continued to grow, a ruling body became a necessity. The NFL started appointing commissioners in 1941 to govern the game. The NFL's first commissioner was Elmer Layden. He was commissioner for five years. Elmer Layden was replaced by Burt Bell as commissioner in 1946. After Bell's death in 1959, Pete Rozelle was elected the next commissioner. Pete Rozelle is credited with turning professional football into the successful product that it has become today. What some people call the greatest game ever played, played on December 28, 1958, between the Baltimore Colts and the New York Giants in the league championship game. This was one of the first championship games to be televised nationally, and the Colts won. Almost 11 million homes nationwide watched this game, which made the NFL's popularity grow immensely. Many people say this was the day the NFL really earned its status. This is footage of what is considered the greatest game ever played. About nine years after what was called the greatest game ever played was the first Super Bowl. The first Super Bowl was on January 15, 1967. The game was between the Green Bay Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Packers won the game 35-10. The Super Bowl was originally called the Championship Game, but after five championship games, they changed the name to the Super Bowl. There were two basic football leagues the American Football League and the National Football League. In 1966, the two leagues began talking about merging, and in 1970, they actually merged to form the National Football Conference and the American Football Conference. These two conferences make up what we now know as the National Football League, or NFL. When this league merged, there were 26 teams that made it up. As the NFL continued to grow in popularity, football started to spread around the world. On July 31st, 1982, five countries from Europe came together to make the American European Football Federation. Later, Switzerland, Netherlands, and Great Britain also joined the federation to make the league eight teams. When this happened, the American European Football Federation changed their name to the European Football League. American football had not only grown its popularity in the United States, but was now an international giant in sports. The game of football has grown through the years and is considered the most popular sport in the United States and has spread throughout the world. The Super Bowl is one of the most watched events of every year and the sport has become a multi-billion dollar enterprise. Each year, the game continues to evolve through rule changes, safety improvements, communication outlets, and more. It has not only become a pastime, but a passion for the sports fans of America. Are you ready for some football? Sweetness, and I like to dance. Running the ball is like Mickey Moore Mance. We had the goal since training camp to give Chicago a Super Bowl champ. And we're not doing this because we're greedy. The Bears are doing it to feed the needy. We didn't come here to look for trouble. We just come here to do the Super Bowl shop.